Hi guys, hope you're all having a great day. This is a very soft, delicate drawing uh, drawn in Procreate or painted in Procreate. And I use the oil pastel brush for this one. So let's get into it. Oil pastels are really nice to use. They're like sort of regular pastels, but bound with oil. So they've got this waxy feel to them. And um, I, I like using them you know the, the the actual real oil pastels so i was intrigued to try this brush the first thing that i noticed about the brush if you put light strokes on you get this really nice paper texture um created by the pastel and the more you apply it starts to smudge uh, automatically uh, just like you would get where um you you sort of brush it pushing these two oil colors together where they smudge. So uh, I, I really like the brush from the off. I decided to color the paper um, as I would with a pastel color, just to uh, give me a, a ground to work on. And then I started working on this um, bridge scene. Now I've already done this before as a sketch. So if you, um, been watching my vids for a while and you've got a good memory you may have remember remember that i've drawn this scene before but just as a pencil sketch i can't remember if i did it in teosui or paper 53 but it was quite a long while ago and i just begin by um blocking in instead usually when i'm sort of doing an oil painting i'll get that roller brush and whacking real big blocks of color but this time i was doing much more uh, smaller strokes and building up sort of blocks of color much more slowly and um creating the scene as i'm going putting very delicate strokes so i'm doing really delicate strokes there but straight away I'm sort of putting in quite strong colors because I was really worried that I was going to end up with something that looked very bland and um, quite flat. So I wanted to use strong colors right from the off. So I've got these dark shadows in straight away. A again, I picked these colors off the color wheel. I, I just eyeballed them off the photo. I'm sort of getting familiar now with um, what colors I like to use and what works with what. So um, it seems to me that most paintings I do these days, I'm just picking the colors straight off the color wheel. Um, I put in some highlights on that bridge straight away just to make that pop a little bit. So right away, you can see that um, I'm getting a nice effect. Now that uh, water effect that you can see, uh, once they enjoy the video um, slider gets out of the way, is, is put in really by putting vertical strokes straight down for the reflections and then putting some horizontal strokes straight over the top of that. And that gives you this sort of nice water effect going off. So I'm just sort of building up, up uh, the layers as I'm going. I, I do get uh, quite a few layers on here because I wanted the uh, I wanted to be able to undo what I've already done and sort of uh, go back a lot. I've, I've put in these branches in and um, they go in fairly early on, I suppose, in the, the drawing. These fine detail branches, but I have to say they needled me all the way through the painting. The thick branches in the background, I'm okay with. I think they work really well. But those in the foreground, they're just too too much detail and they, they're not working with the um, rest of the sketch, really. But, you know, I leave them there for a little bit and sort of ponder on what I'm going to do. Now, the tree that I'm putting in now, I feel that that's a little bit on the uh, big side. So um, I think I must have put that on... I've been working on a layer that's got some color underneath because I went and undid it rather than uh, sort of rescaled it and moved it. So I guess I was working on one layer there. And then unlike the photo, I start adding some w much more warmer colors to make it an autumnal scene, really. And I just felt that that added a little bit of pop to the old color uh that's that's on there and i didn't want you i've 
wanted to be careful that I didn't get this really boring scene going off. Popping the people in. The guy is actually taking a photo of, I assume, his wife and son in the photo there. So they've got the back to the uh, side of the bridge. And he's taking a photo. You can't really tell that in there, but, you know, I did try and indicate it a bit. Just stuck a couple of the ducks in. I didn't go absolutely crazy. And I felt it needed a little bit of blue, perhaps, just to lift it up a little bit. Adding some uh, darker tones into those trees. And then I start um, putting in some light colours in between, between the trees. And the idea of that was, it's the light shining through the branches of the trees. That's what I was trying to uh, get there. So I could have finished. This is one of those paintings that could have been finished five minutes ago uh, in the video and possibly... Um, 20 minutes in real time so but i keep going at it and I, I i just felt it needed a little bit more detail but not you know not crazy detail i'm not putting in loads of fine lines just little marks with this pastel brush here and there just to put in some highlights where the sun's catching the uh, leaves on the trees there I, I wanted a few of those in and maybe some on the uh, trees on the bridge as well picking some highlights where the lights just making the bridge sparkle a little bit still fiddling with these branches i'm not happy with them they are uh, I, I worked on them i painted them rubbed them out painted them rubbed them out uh, created another layer tried different colors J just nothing was working and i felt it's it's a real distraction to the whole of the painting and it was bugging me so in the end uh, I thought, you know what, let's just get some colour over these. I couldn't sort of um, lift them, uh, just sort of delete the layer or anything like that because I'd sort of, by this time, merged loads of layers together. So I just overpainted them and then put in a couple of branches. Oh, am I going crazy again? There we, yeah, I thought there, yeah, that's it. I just felt I needed just a few branches, not too many. And a little bit thicker. There we go. That's much better. I'm thinking I'm overdoing it again. I've got a feeling these might have to go again. Then I tried putting some, uh, just using, uh, uh, making the brush much bigger and, and um, just very lightly drawing over the leaves you can get like the effect that you've got lots of twigs going off there so i'm sort of i'm feeling that to me that looks really overworked i can't remember what I, how i finished this i hope i um overpaint some of this i i struggled with those branches there we go i deleted that layer that they were on then that's better. And then um, tried again. So I apparently I had three goes at getting those branches in. And I don't think I put them back in this time. See, sometimes you don't always get, you can be working on an idea and it just, it just doesn't work. So they are, there's a good example there of where I was working on something on a painting and I didn't like it and I just painted it out and um, I think I ended up with a much nicer painting. What did you think? Did you like the twigs or the branches or not? Did the detail work for you? For me, it was just not working. I wanted to um, get rid of those and I think it's much better softer working on the shadow the reflections of the people underneath the bridge just put them in there a little bit a few more sparkles this is getting quite close to being finished oh there we go get it signed so that i think is probably it i may fiddle with it a little bit more oh yeah i wanted a bit more uh, detail in the water sort of few ripples going off there take them out again too much too much there was a lot of overpainting and undoing with this to get to where i wanted but there we go that is it 
that is my um, Mark Eaton Bridge, it's called actually. Painted using the oil pastel brush in Procreate. Very soft drawing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up. Much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.